Hello viewers, welcome to our history class and the topic of discussion today is Aliman and we are getting to look at the Middle Stone Age and as we, are, we had said earlier we have got three phases of the Stone Age periods. We have the Early Stone Age, the Middle Stone Age and the New Stone Age. Now in our today's class we will get to the Middle Stone Age and your teacher is Rajab Michira and this is your favorite channel, Elimu TV, where you get to watch and learn. Welcome all and let us learn. Now, viewers, what do we expect at the end of the lesson? We expect that we are able to explain the cultural and economic practices of man during the Stone Age period. And in this case here, we are in the Middle Stone Age. Now, can you get to look at Middle Stone Age? And as I said earlier, in the Stone Age periods, we must have to look at the tools they made, the shelter, how they, or they, they obtained their food, if they had other cultural, uh, religious active, uh, beliefs, talk of language, talk of communication. Now, let us get to the tools. What tools they use? Now, man made improved tools, such as the side scrappers, the chisel picks, the dagger picks. Now these tools are known as the Songwan tools. Now I won't I won't get back to Songwan tools because as we were introducing early man, the uh, the devolutionary the, the stages, uh, sorry, the evolutionary stages, we did talk of these Songwan tools and they were found at a place known as Sango Bay in the shores of Lake Victoria. Now these are the tools that man made. Now can we talk about fire? Right now, there was invention of fire, and as we said earlier, that fire was another significant invention during this period. Now, the invention of fire was important to the early man for the a number for a number of reasons. Now, one, they provided warmth during the night and during the cold spells. Now, as we said earlier, that man did not have more than shelter. He either sheltered in caves on top of trees, talk of the clothings, he wore garments, and also it was, it was, um, the body was covered with, with hair. Now, if you get to look at that, during the night, we had night cold spells, right? Talk of during the rainy season. Now, the fire provided warmth for man during the night and also during these cold spells. Talk of lighting, right? Remember, during the night, it was dark. And man could sometimes want to see. Now, light provided, or rather the fire provided light during the night. And also, fire was a means of communication during the, 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 the early times. The early communities used fire, fire or smoke in communication. In Form 2, we'll get to look at communication. Then we'll get to realize that fire, was, fire or smoke was another mean of communication. But we get to that when we get to Form 2. And finally, fire was used as a food preservative. Then you get to ask yourself, how was it used as a fire preservative? Then you get to realize that man could dry meat and also fish. And when meat is dried, it could stay for long without going bad. And also, if you get to look at another, another importance of fire or another use of fire, it was that it was used for hunting. Then you get to ask yourself, how was, how was fire used for hunting? Then you, you, you get to realize that man could lit fire, right? The bushfires. Now, these bushfires could always move animals to a confined place. Now, can you think of lighting a fire in a, in a bush? Now, the fire will be spreading the bush. Now, those animals, wild animals, could be running toward the confined place. Now, that confined place, it provided a good place or a good catching place for those, for those wild animals. Thank you. Our final, our final use of fire is that fire was used for frightening away wild animals. Remember, I did tell you they didn't have modern houses. Not like the houses you have today where you can close yourself in. They lived in caves and they lived in forests. And in forests, we have got wild animals. Now, these wild animals could, tra could threaten man. For example, leopards, we had uh, lions, we had elephants. Now, whenever a wild animal sees fire, that is it. It cannot move closer. Now, this you was used as a protection as it was to frighten these animals. 
Now class, for our assignment, as always, after class, we always have an assignment. Can you get to state the tools, or the, uh, the, the tools that were used during the Middle Stone Age? State the use of the tools and the type of tools. And for our reference, let us get to use Evolving World History, Form 1, the Oxford University Press, the sixth edition. And as always, this is your favorite uh, channel where you get to watch and learn, which is a Limu TV. Always contact us via our SMS line, YouTube, Facebook, and also Twitter. So let us watch Elimu TV for more, for more lessons and let us learn.